I thought I knew how indexing worked because I use it every day. I do finds all the time. But then I wrote an article on my Philosophy of FileMaker blog about indexing. Let me tell you, I didn't know as much as I thought. Let me show you what I learned during my research to help you grasp the intricacies of the index. So let's start off with what is the index good for? Well, mostly it's there to make finds faster. And let's take an analogy. If you have a book, let's say it's a FileMaker technical reference, and you're trying to find out about global fields, you're not going to flip through each page and scan for the word global. That's going to take a long time. What you do is flip to the back of the book, look at the index, find global, and it'll give you every single page it's listed on. The only difference in a index inside of a FileMaker database, or any database for that matter, is that that page number is actually a record number. So each time I enter John into this field, it only gets put into the index once. But each time it is in there, it has a different record reference so it knows where to go. So it searches a shorter list and makes your finds faster. Now the index is used in a lot of places. It's used in pop-up menus when you're basing the contents on a field. We've discussed that. It's used in relationships. It's used in some validation features. It's used quite a bit place, but really it's used for the finds. That's the most important area. Now it's not used in the sort. Don't get that mistaken. Sorts do not use the index. So let's take a look at the index. If you have never done this, if you go into the insert and then choose from index, you'll see that you can get a list of everything that's indexed. Now I do this from time to time just to see what's in there because a lot of times I'll get to client's place and they'll have all kinds of erroneous data entered and I'll say, look how many different ways you spelled, you know, let's say John or Chino Hills or or you know, usually it's something that be that has no different spellings. You want to make sure it's always spelled the same and you'll see it all in there and you go, we need to fix your data. But you can also use it to see how it works. This is a, a one type of index, and there's actually another type of index, show individual words. So let's see if we can find with the show individual words turned off, go to John, and you'll see there's a John mark. But as soon as I do show individual words, then the John is there twice, really, and the John mark is not there. That's because there's two different types of indexes. Before I describe them, let me show you what happens when you go to a date field, a time field, a number field, a timestamp field, all other types of fields that can be indexed. This is what you're going to see instead. You don't have that choice of choosing show individual words. That's because this is a value index. FileMaker searches the entire value. Think back in the previous section when we talked about the equals equals before our find. That searched the entire field. Well, that's the only way you can search a date, a number, or a time field. You have to search the entire thing. It's different, though, with your text field, and that's the one exception here. When you take a look at it, you actually can search two different ways. You can search as a value, or you can search as individual words. Now, I really want to make sure that I use the proper terminology here. It's not really a find. What happens is when you use a text field inside a relationship, it's going to be used as a value, such as when you have John Mark in here, right? It matches the whole value. When you're doing a search, it actually searches using individual words. So you don't really have a choice how you search. It's how FileMaker uses the index. So it's very important to understand that value versus word index. There are two different types of indexes. And text fields can have a value and a word index, but all the rest of the fields can only have value indexes. So let's go into Manage Database. And to make things more complicated, FileMaker calls them something else kind of here. You have indexing of none, minimal, or all. Now remember, this is a text field, OK? Take a look at a date field. It only has all. Minimal is not even an option here. So what's the difference here? Well, it has to do with that second type of index. If you're going with minimal, that's going to be just a word index. But if you're going with all, then that's going to be a, a word index and a value index. That means you probably, if you have this option to automatically create indexes turned on, that probably means you used it in a find and use that field in a relationship if it turned it on that way. Now also take note of the default language here. Notice that here's the Unicode that I referenced before down here. You can turn that on if you want, but I wouldn't recommend it. Like I said, it's going to make uppercase and lowercase letters different on finds. And I really don't want that. 
So it's important to understand how these two types of indexes work and what the settings are in here. FileMaker takes care of most of that for you by turning it on and off. And that's a good thing and a bad thing. Really, it's only a bad thing in the case where you're done with your solution, you've done a lot of searches in your database and made some relationships and maybe deleted them. You've know, done all kinds of things and you've got all these indexes turned on. They take up space and they take time to create as you're you know, entering data. So what I would do at the end of a project is go ahead and say, okay, well, here's the fields that people are going to be searching on my find layout. Let's take the other ones and turn them off. In fact, I would probably go and say, uncheck this option. Do not just put it to none, but uncheck this option. Always a good idea to do that. And that will make sure that what's going on in here is, you know, a smooth, uh, you know, uh, efficient database system.